So um, now today I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is for this one I'm just gonna be making to go over the sample question from the Hess's Law handout. Okay, so the Hess's Law handout. I'm gonna go over um, each of these sample questions. I'm gonna do sample one first, and then sample sample three together because that's again a very similar type of question and then sample two as well as sample four in this different video okay so now this question now <clears throat> this question now i think there's a typo because in some ways um in the calculation in class we had monoxide and this one it's also a monoxide so let's just keep it at that for now um in this case, you have, now, one of the things I said in class to do is to underline. So underline based on these three equations, as well as the delta H for each of these, you're going to underline the ones that you want. So for example, you want carbon, so you underline carbon here. You want water, gas, so you look at it, water, gas is here. CO2 gas, no, carbon monoxide gas, you have carbon monoxide gas, and hydrogen gas, so you have hydrogen gas here. Now, that's the first step. Now, the second step, what you need to do is you need to look at what you want and see if, it's, if it is on the same side of the arrow as this equation that you want to try to get to, okay? So in this case, carbon you want on the left-hand side, yes, you have on the left-hand side, so this equation is good. You don't need to deal, do anything to it. Carbon, no, water, H2O, you want water on the left-hand side of the equation, but you have water on the right-hand side of the equation. So what you need to do is flip equation number three. So you always, right now, flip equation number three, and so in this case, what is on the right becomes on the left. What is on the left becomes on the right. Okay. And not only that, you have to make sure your sign is changed. So in some ways, in class, I showed minus one times. So in this case, your sign is now plus 242 kilojoules per mole. Okay? So you change the sign because you flip the equation. Now after you've done this, you remember you underline the things you want. Now if you've done that, you can erase or cross out the first equation. You don't remember you don't look at that anymore. Okay. So you got carbon where you want, you got water where you want. And look, you happen to get a hydrogen where you want. That's good. Now what you need to do is you want to look at carbon monoxide. You want it on the right-hand side, but right now it's on the left. So you will need to flip also equation number two. So minus one time. So in this case here, CO2 gas, you go to CO gas plus one half oxygen and since you flipped it it's also delta h again your sign changes when you flip the equation so it's plus 283 kilojoules per mole and you underline this here right now so again process out i flip the equation i change the sign i cross it out now, this is the part where I call it in the class, that's the purging situation. So, essentially, you, you're you gonna cross out or cancel out things um, that is appearing on both sides. So, for example, what I mean here is this. You have, what am I looking at? I have CO2 here on the right-hand side I have C, no, left-hand side, I have CO2 on the right-hand side. So in this case, that can't, they cancel each other out. I have one o, O2 gas on the left-hand side. I have 
half an O2 gas on the right, another half an O2 gas on the right. So in this case, half and half gives you me one whole, one whole O2 gas. So in this case, this and these cancels out each other. Okay. So now you write down all the survivors. So the rest of the people, rest of the molecules that survived the purge. So carbon plus uh, here H2O gas gives you okay CO gas plus H2 gas. Oh look, that's the same equation as what we have over here. So in this case, that's what we want. We want to get back to the same equation as this. So to find the delta H for this reaction, now what you need to do is you need to add this plus this plus this. So delta H for this new equation now will be minus 393 plus positive 242 plus positive 283. It all comes together. Uh, let's use an online calculator. Minus 393 plus, hold on, 83, and look, your answer is, my, it's, oh, positive 132 kilojoules per mole. So in this case, your answer is positive 132 per mole. So we're going to make a second video uh, for the example number three, okay?